All right, back to business, back to videoing here. All right, so I am upset. I am upset because I am tired of people talking shit about people at, like myself online when they don't know me. And I'm trying to give them some insight in who I am and they just want to like call me a narcissist or call me evil or, or the devil or some shit like oh that I must follow the devil because I don't follow God or some bullshit like that listen you you people that are religious that do these videos and these groups um um with a religious view on narcissism is really mixing the two up there okay look you can have uh, look it's fine you can have your religious views and everyone has them or doesn't have them or their spiritual views it's none of your business honestly i mean once upon a time we didn't talk about what two things that we're not supposed to be talking about you know there's an unwritten rule in society before like the chaos has been going on now but there was an unwritten rule in society that you do not talk about religion and politics okay and for good reason because look what happened now that's basically all anybody's talking about now is religion and politics and then you want to mix in with the narcissism awareness groups I'm not, I'm, I'm, that, it's pissing me off because it's attracting all these religious nuts that are uneducated and ignorant to what narcissism actually is and the personal, personality disorders and how it's different from actual narcissism. And they just have no idea. They think they know it all because they are religious. Okay, fine. You can study your Bible and be Christians or whatever, Muslim, whatever you are, religion wise. But why are you mixing that with narcissism? It's not the same. Like, like, okay, because there's a lot of atheists watching your your videos that are on narcissism. Okay, so you're you're um you're turning off those viewers because you got religious nuts coming in there defending themselves and their Bible and their God, but yet they don't know nothing that's in the Bible. They they sound like they're ten years old. And that they never grew up and matured their mind and educated themselves in life. So they still talk. And they're, they're writing in text, right? You could tell how they uh, how they think and, and, and how they express words, written words. And I'm very good at writing. I'm, I'm more of a writer. I always have been. I'm not one of those public speaker type person. I'm not that great. You know, I'm not so articulate verbally. Because I have a lot... You know issues of my own so it interferes with performing in public so i i have talent in writing anyway so you know you try to have a adult conversation with these religious people that are in these narcissism awareness groups and it's just like you can't get to them because they don't allow any new information in. it's it's like they're narcissists too you know like the and they their understanding is very surface based and it's not in depth understanding and when i try to explain that they are just they just shut me off completely and say i am uh oh i'm when i mentioned i'm atheist or um you know anything it just turns their minds off to thinking and it's just like you're talking to a wall so yeah excuse me and then if you're gonna write in all caps that's another unwritten rule in the uh online community that if you're gonna write in all caps that means you're yelling at somebody so please stop doing that thank you you don't have to write in perfect sentences or 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 um a grammar or you know spell everything correctly i don't I'm not one of those uh, grammar Nazi people that come around and you know, oh my God, you spelled this wrong, you spe spelled this uh, word wrong. Well, maybe I was rushing and I got other things that I'm writing and, and it came through, you know, without a apostrophe or something over the, 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 the S. I mean, come on, we're not perfect. Even writing in text or whatever, we're not perfect. But, but to be rude, you're actually pressing on caps lock 
even through a phone on a computer or a phone you still got the caps lock so you're you're, you're consciously pressing it and, and and writing in all caps like what what you want to stand out out of everyone else writing normally no like that's rude that's an unwritten rule anyway so <laughs> so that's not even the issue because i just ignore half of those people but but the actual um channel uh creators are are banking on you know mixing in religion with narcissism and or mixing in uh like other beliefs within the um within the community it, it really shouldn't be there because like i said i'm not gonna spend most of my time arguing with somebody who is a religious not person sorry i'm just thinking the word for um but I don't, I don't, I don't have anything against anybody's religion. I really don't. Okay, because I used to be Christian anyway. So, uh, but, but if you kind of, if you're mixing in the narcissism and narcissistic, narcissistic personality disorder, which is psychological terms, you're gonna mess up your understanding of it. So, and it's just gonna be biased towards black and white thinking, which is. A lot of Christians are like that, black and white thinkers, where it's either good or evil. So what does good or evil mean? That means it's a black and white view of the world. So that's not how psychology works at all. And, um, or science for that matter. There's, there's a lot of gray areas, okay? And there's a lot of, and we're talking about brain function and personality or whatever. That That's that's a very complex subject and uh, a lot of people are capitalizing on that because it's a hot topic right now because people are trying to understand it better and uh to mix in the religion with that there's a they, they're getting a ton of subscribers i mean thousands of subscribers just because they're mixing in religion with this uh psychological term and and i don't agree with this way of doing things but you know what? I listen to their channels. They're very interesting, thought-provoking. I like to um, see the other side of things, like what religious people think about narcissism, what atheists think about narcissism, you know, stuff like that. So, and I appreciate all the information that I learned, and I like to give my own personal experience and um, my understanding on things, you know, because that's the point of communicating and uh you're not gonna agree with everyone all the time that's not how it works you're supposed to have disagreements and you know come together and find um some common ground and understanding on different perspectives from people okay so i don't mind that i i, I enjoy these channels i'm not saying nothing about it it's just they're kind of capitalizing on it okay they really are they're pushing the they're pushing the bias towards one side or the other and um it's not being as genuine as they should be because again religion has nothing to do with narcissism okay it really doesn't but if you read the bible and the christian religion it there's a lot of good things to learn out of it definitely um it taught it, it, it they gave examples of narcissism and and stuff like that but it's still separate you know and uh so I, I personally I personally do not believe that somebody is all good or all evil except for a minority few of mostly psychopaths or malignant nar narcissists malignant anything on the malignant end is gonna be all or nothing okay it's gonna be evil or you know just evil plain straight up evil and um i believe in that but narcissism itself is on a spectrum so <laughs> not everyone not everyone that has some traits is even a narcissist one and not even and not somebody who has traits and meets the criteria they're they're not all evil either 
So it's very, very difficult and complex. Um, it's very, very hard to explain. So, and to understand, honestly. So if, if people want to add in religion so they can understand it better in those simpler terms, but in all reality and actuality, it's not that simple. <laughs> it's not that simple. Believe me, I've been around a lot of these people. I am one of them. And I can tell you, it is not that simple because sometimes I straight up feel completely 100% evil, all right? Because everything surrounding my day or, or the situation is, is negative. And uh, sometimes it is complete opposite of that. But, and that's in the same person. So you tell me how that's a possibility. How can that exist? That darkness can't exist in the light. Because yes, it does. <laughs> we live on the planet, right? And guess what? We're here in the daytime. You see the sun shining right now. That's the light. And what happens at night? Every single night without fail. That's right. It turns to darkness. Every single day. You got the sunlight. You got the darkness. I mean, and even if you look at nature, like the wild and, and uh, animals in the wild, uh, a lot of that shit is evil was going on, you know? Uh, tigers stalking their prey and uh, killing innocent creatures, all that is kind of evil, no? You're going to tell me that's natural and it's okay, but when it happens with human beings, we're evil. Like, just purely of the devil. See, I believe a person can become pure evil, yes. But, you know, um, as time goes on, they keep choosing the evil way of doing things or being or behaving. Yeah, you'll become somewhat like a psychopath or, you know, serial killer. All those people, they, they just give in to this evil force. But there, I believe there's an evil force, but I don't believe there's a devil or a god like you know that's that's a person in human form no absolutely not uh or in whatever form i, I think it's something that we were not able to conceive um we're not able to understand anymore, to be honest okay but all i'm saying is with my experience with other people and myself with my own personal self and to seeing how nature is in its natural state it seems that uh, there's uh, we're a mixture of good and bad like you know we, we can't be either one or the other that's just that's two extremes so that's opposite extremes and um, let's say like even in let's say politics right so you got the radical left radical right that's very dangerous to be on one of those ends right so you can't you can't be on one end or the other you just can't you have to have a shape there has to be an area of gray there it's just not how the world works it's just not how human beings work and that's why i do not uh geez. that's why i i am not a christian no longer because well within the religion of christianity because they want you to believe that you are either all good or all bad and that you better be good all the time 100% or you become uh, the child of a de the devil. No, I, I just don't believe that anymore. I'm too old for that. I, I've been to school, um, I, I higher education, I have a higher education. So to be perfectly honest, um, some people live la like that and choose ignorance. Which is fine. As long as you're not hurting anybody, I don't care what you believe. And, you know, we probably may, uh, get along well together in some instances. I don't know. But uh, I study too hard and I put a lot of my time into this research. So I can't really go back now. It's like once you're there, you can't go back. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and, um... So that's that. Uh, the, the main thing is that borderlines are not the same as narcissists. Do not lump them together. Uh, and 
it's not you're you're not either all good or all evil. It just doesn't work that way. You can be, and then that, then that becomes a problem. That either way, if you're too good, excuse me, too good or too bad, you're gonna put yourself and other people into harm's way, and you get yourself into all kinds of trouble. So you know, if you think that way. Like if you don't accept your flaws or your darkness, you don't come to terms with that, then there's a problem in my eyes. Alright, so that's what I'm going to say about that for now because I'm trying to get out of this parking spot and go back around. And I just, you know, I just got to get out of this parking spot. So thank you for listening. Uh, please leave a comment to encourage me to do more videos. Uh, like, share, and subscribe. And ring the bell. And I hope everybody's doing well and keeping safe out there. Thank you very much for listening. Bye.